But I got one of these, so I don't know what it is. Jesus! Thankfully, oh! I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that balling. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse, man, what, what it is? Going on, Avengers Report Slab Trade. Welcome back today, guys, to the channel. Back here on a game called Grip. Now, if you do remember, we played this a little while back, and the devs actually reached out and asked if I wanted to do a sponsored video for today. I took them up on the offer, and we're back here for yet another fast-paced, futuristic combat racing. And if you guys haven't heard of Grip yet, it's actually inspired by the Roll Cage games from 1999 and the year 2000. And it's really fun. Highly recommend to check it out. Top of the description box down below for you guys to click on. But uh, just one big thank you to the Grip devs for making this episode possible. We'll be taking a look at some of the new features. There were some massive updates that just came down for Grip, including new vehicles, a bunch of new power-ups. It's going to be a fun episode for today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do want to keep seeing more Grip on the channel, don't forget to slap that like button. Now, quick side note as well, too. We are going to be doing a special giveaway. Five DLC codes are up for grabs for Grip's full version. And if you guys did not know, this is actually in early access still. So it's not a full game out yet. Early access. We're giving away five codes. Stay tuned for the end of the episode to find out how to win them. We're going to start off today's episode with a little garage tour. We got the Dominator up here. Now, these are vehicles that we've already seen. I believe the Dreadnought as well, too, has already been in the game. Uh, but the Ictus, I do believe, is brand new. And I'm really liking the styling of these vehicles, man. They have a very futuristic, yet almost modern sense to them. I, I may be just talking crazy, but it definitely does look cool. The rims, though, are definitely a feature that I do like. And the tires. It seems like a lot of the new tires that are coming to the game are heavily detailed and I think it definitely does add to the dynamics of the game and really just ties in the entire vehicle. We have the Varlander here and uh, this is a car that I'm really excited to drive just because of the look of it. It looks really insane. We have a massive V8 at the back of that just sitting there waiting to take off. Again, I love the tires on here. I love the body style. I'm loving what they're doing with the vehicles coming in here. We have the Juggernaut. Same thing applies, man. I mean, look at this thing. I love it. Acceleration, maximum speed. Let's see how they compare actually. Ooh, damn, man. Look the Warlander uh, way better than the damn Juggernaut for acceleration, but maximum speed though is higher on the Juggernaut, so keep that in mind, and the Rogue, which is at the moment my personal favorite. This kind of reminds me of almost like a Jaguar in a sense, has that green and white styling to it, the paint. I really enjoy this, and I'm hoping to be driving this for today. Now, we can actually change the rims? No way. Oh, not on this one, unfortunately, but does look like though you can and you can change the tire compounds very interesting fresh stuff uh since the last time we visited this and i like the slicks man to be completely honest with you doesn't look like the tires do uh any type of acceleration or grip bonuses uh it's just the way that it is but i'm liking those slicks though and i'm thinking hold on here yeah, the slicks definitely make the car for sure. Now, on the older vehicles in the game, we do have different rim sets up to looks like six different rims for the Dreadnought. And then the Ictus, we have a few as well too here. Again, really liking the rim customization. And I feel like, you know, this game just keeps getting updated. It just got updated on June 22nd, uh, which was my birthday, man. So big thank you for updating it. New vehicle abilities. We have boost. Depending on your position in a race, a boost bar will charge around your speedo. Uh, and you can use the boost at any time in burst or in full. And this will actually help you catch back up. So they're trying to just take away, you know, if you screw up, uh, you know, you can get right back into the action. And I think that's a great feature to have in here. Control inputs have been fixed. Uh, we have improved difficulty progression for newer players. Just a bunch of fixes to the maps in general. But uh, they've been doing some big things on Grip. Like I said, highly encouraged to check it out on the Steam Marketplace. Link is in the top of the description box down below. So we have three types of game modes to start off today. Race, Arena, and Carcour, man. Oh my god. The Carcour is actually pretty cool. I don't believe they actually called it Carcour last time we were here, though, but it's pretty cool. Twists, turns, loops, jumps, and other obstacles make up levels that push your precision driving skills to the limit. We will be definitely doing that, and you have to grab all the collectibles in a certain amount of time. We have then arenas, which is like a deathmatch style. Steal the stash and the bomb. Those are all going to be really cool. And I mean, like I said, 
early access, man. This game is not even officially out, so they're just treating us with allowing us to play their work in progress, and I really do like that. Ultimate race, a proper combat race where your speed and your strength separate the best from the rest. The more trigger happy, the better with points being awarded for weapon use and damage to opponents. That's where I want to be at right now. And uh, we're going to go to the waste in reverse i don't know what it is but that little photo right there looks fantastic um we just teleporting here to different environments i think so so these are the different maps here and it does seem like there is a few more races uh than the last time that we were here now i'm looking for some hard ones but i think we should start on the normal and then go from there we have four laps 10 opponents catch up assist is going to stay on destructible vehicles uh definitely on uh mirrored track i don't know what that means but sounds interesting i'm, I'm thinking that maybe the track's going to be above us where we can just kind of oh my god that's going to be interesting engine power uh we're going to go wild and no, we'll just go auto on that we're ready to go though for our first run of grip uh like i said though this is a game like i said roll cage back in the day man playstation one this is the same people that made roll cage and i was looking at the steam discussion post and it was saying that you know they made this game out of almost their free time to come back why am i not in the right damn vehicle i'm upset my jag man i'm all by jag let's save that hopefully hopefully it'll work with the jag this time ultimate race we got everything the way that we need Round two, man. Round two. The loading screens are actually not that bad at all. It's actually really instantaneous for what we're working with, considering this is a very fast-paced, high combat. We got our right car, man. Here we go. I don't even know what to call these. These aren't even cars, to be honest with you, but I'm definitely here to win, man. I'm not losing this game. This thing is quick. Holy shit, man. The, de the whole obstacle of the game, though, or objective, sorry, not obstacle, goddamn, is to obviously finish in first place, but you need to be wary of what is going around. Oh my god. Are you alright, sir? This man's flowing all over the place. Now, obviously, first place is definitely not where you want to be in car combat, considering uh, you got missiles coming, right? I mean, I got machine guns behind me. Holy shit. We got a little force field, thankfully. And it does feel like the cars actually uh, will drift a little bit. Super smooth gameplay, considering that we are going light speed almost, man. How much? We're going 460. Holy shit. Little back blocker. I like that. Look at these guys, man. They're no match. Easy money rate. Oh, here we go. This is where it gets trippy. And I will say they have done a fan. Oh, whoa. We got hit. We got hit. They have done a fantastic job at really improving the overall gameplay mechanics. What is that? Oh, you're dead, sir. There you go. Oh. We missed him. Oh. Now, I will... S oh, my God. I'm stuck. Yep. Come on, now. Bring this down. Son of a bitch. We have a jump button, too. I forgot about that. Where's my boost? I don't know where my boost button is. Oh, it's Y, I think. Oh, my God. Okay, we are all over the map, but we are continuously in the game though it's not like it just reset ourselves and that's one of the biggest things that they have improved on on grip is the ability to just consistently be racing no matter what happens and you know originally when the game first dropped i played it and you know they had to work on a lot of things and they didn't they fixed them very very quickly which was great about the game you know they added in these barriers they weren't there before so you would literally just fly right off the day of track uh but they oh that's a mine They've done a great job just trying to make sure that everything is as fair as possible and it flows, right? I mean, there's nothing more frustrating than playing a game and then you're right off the edge and you can't, you know, come back at all. So I feel like they've done a great job here at making this a simple experience for everybody, no matter your skill level on grip. And uh, we got a machine gun and rockets. I will not... Oh, that guy's in the air. Can we hit him midair? Oh, shit. What is that? It's gravity, man. Oh, no. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. We got bumped. We're 7th out of 10. I can't be losing my first race on grip, man. Here we go. Well, that that's definitely not going to help us, kid. Whatever that is. I don't know what it is, but it happened. There you go. Yeah. I'll take it. A little intimidation. Man, we are so far away. I don't know what that is. It looks scary, though. Yeah, I'm dead. Thankfully, those rocks are going right over top. And now, if you guys do play Grip, 
Send me your best screenshots. I've seen some really nice screenshots. Send them over on Twitter, slap underscore train, and I'll be retweeting my favorite ones. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Come on, man. Thank you. Can I shoot these back? I don't think I can. No, I can't. That was a waste of a rocket. But I got one of these, though. I don't know what it is. Jesus! Thankfully, oh... Well, I'm not gonna lie, that was fun. Uh, I want to check out another race, but I want to go hard, man. I want the hardest level we can get. Here we go. Is it just me? Oh, wow, we're at the start. Okay. Did we get a boost? I don't think we did. See ya! Oh, my God. Oh, what? So, no! Oh, my God. We need a restart on that shit, man. I can't believe I just did that. Look at the pack, though, man. This is crazy. Take care. Where'd everybody go? I must have got a... I... I just did the same shit twice. Are you kidding me right now? That was bad. Here we go. This is what I like, man. Being able to run on both sides of the wall. That's what Roll Cage was famous for back in the day, man. Let me know. Did you play Roll Cage? I want to know. If so... Why aren't you playing Grim? That's all I gotta say, right? I mean, chill! No, 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 no! This is crazy. This is actually really cool. Okay. I'm not losing this time. We did get a different spawn point, though, which is fine. Bump that man. Oh, whoa, he did what I did. Oh, shit, man. These guys are not liking me. Same team, man. Same team. I'm just kidding. We're not. Oh, two wheeling. Oh. We got the map on the top left. I just noticed that's kind of like the map of the game. This is extremely tricky because there's no guardrails on this one, man. You fall off. It's on you. Cannot fix yourself midair. Damn, here we go. Oh, this is sick. We almost got to 600, you son of a bitch. No! Oh, we made it. We made it. Excuse me. Oh, hell no, man. Get out the way. Uh-oh. I'm on top. We got boost. Why are they going that way? Oh, no. Oh, no. See ya. Worst chain of events I've ever seen in my life on the game. Grip. Okay. Boost is on. Let's go, these slicks. I'm gonna take a left instead. Pretty much everybody that was on the left took the right, and everyone that was on the right took the left, man. What the hell is that? Here we go. Now make sure you try to stay on your wheels. We got boost. Ooh! We get some huge air, man. The worst part is when you start gaining a little bit of air, and you just cannot do anything about it. Oh, like I said, right there, no! See ya! All right, here we go. We're going 560. Like, oh, I got to hit the brakes. Yep. That is crazy, man. This is just a damn U-turn almost. Oh, okay. I see why this is the hardest track. Yeah, can I fly over there? Nope. What? Oh, my God. That was quite the save. No idea how that just happened. Here we go. Here we go. We're looking good. We just jumped over the line. We slammed the brakes. What the hell was that? Oh, no. I keep screwing it up right there, man. I'll tell you right now. If you guys start this game up, and if you played it without watching this episode first, I guarantee you, you would not complete this day of lap first try, man. 99.9% .9 hardest level, you will not complete this, man. That's all I'm saying. Without a little bit of experience. Oh, you son of Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Tell me I'm going to make this. Oh, my God. That would have been beautiful. This is the one first lap, man. This is stupid. Oh, my God. I love the track, how difficult it is, but I was not expecting it to be this difficult, man. God damn it. Break, break. Yeah, no. Did I make it? Oh, we made it. Let's go. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this shit. Excuse me, I'm coming for first now. Yep, get out the way. Just shunting this man. Yep. Oh, I think we just took him out. Hold it. They're literally drifting the shit out of this in the ice. That's not good. Go, go, go. Come on. This thing is quick. Zero to 500 in like 2.3 seconds, man. Not even, actually. We're getting some speed. 
it's treacherous, man. I mean, this is what I want to see more from Grip, though, is these harder level designs and really make us work for these tracks, man. I mean, I feel like a lot of the players are from the old school roll cage games, and, you know, we want to have a challenge. This is exactly what we're looking for, man. We want these difficulty factors to go higher and higher with the levels and, uh, you know, not make it just... Oh, I forgot about it again. See, I want it to be hard. Yep. Oh, it fixed. Thank you for those barricades. Just saved my damn life, man. Here we go. Fifth place. Two laps left. I think I got this. So if you guys have made it all the way to the end of the episode for today, uh, we have five grip keys to give away on Steam. It's very, very simple to enter in. All you guys are going to need to do is first like the video. You're then going to go ahead and share it on Twitter. Once you have done that, you're going to go ahead and comment in the bottom saying like and share. Oh my god, I'm done. He hit me mid-air upside down, son of a bitch. But once that's done though, comment down below saying like and share. Make sure you add your own Twitter handle. I need to know what your Twitter actually is so I can verify it. And I'll be choosing five winners within 24 hours of this video going live. So make sure you guys do not hesitate. Go ahead, get your damn grip keys in. And uh, we're going to take this man out. Look at this. I have two rockets. Oh, no. Shit, man. I shot both of them. That was not good. This is final lap, too. But just a huge thank you once again to the game devs of Grip for making that giveaway possible for you guys. And also today's episode possible uh, for this sponsored episode. Like I said, if you guys are unaware of Grip, click the link top of the description box for you guys to check out. Uh, definitely well worth the money here. And I mean, like I said, fast-paced action at an intense difficulty level. You see that right there? I was having trouble with that shit. So, you know, I feel that if a game has enough challenge for it, it's definitely worth playing in my eyes at least, right? I mean, this is one of those games. Online's a complete different story. I would love to do an open lobby on here. If you guys do pick it up, let me know also in the comment section down below and uh, maybe we'll get a nice grip open lobby going. I think that would be insane, man. Thank you guys once again for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which I found down below. To both side train, I'm out. Four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that balling. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do?